it's all good. It'd be falling off anyways. Good morning, everybody. And I'm sorry. Yes, I am fashionably late this morning, and I apologize. I always blame it on the dogs, but today it was me, so. <laughs> but it's a gorgeous day. Let me show you. Check it out. Got the sun all out. It's still nice and cool. It's getting to be that nice fall weather. The leaves haven't started turning yet down here, but it's going to happen soon. I can feel it. But good morning. I hope everybody's having a fantastic Sunday. I want to say good morning to all my mods. Good morning to all my members of the jury. Good morning to all the viewers, lovers, haters, and everyone in between. <clears throat> I'm joined today by my guests, my road dogs, my pals, my baby boys. We've got Dobby in the house. That's my little chihuahua, in case you're just new to the walking talks. And we've got Rio, who's my lab mix. And together, these two make up team shitheads. No, I'm just kidding. They're actually really awesome dogs. Very well behaved 98% of the time. And uh, they make great, both of them actually. We've, we've took in on plenty of little road trips. And uh, they're definitely road worthy dogs. They can handle their shit. What's up, Kimberly? What's up, Miss Ella? What's up, Mary T? Good morning, Dawson. Good morning, Joey Love. Super Roofer. Good morning, my friend. Let's see. Avi. Good morning. Let's see. Rick Grimes. Good morning. All right. Going, oops, actually, I, it's kind of hard to do this while we're walking. Let me see. Let me take a little second to stop here for a second. Baseline. Good morning, my friend. Good to see you. Ginlor, good morning. Got a lot of the OGs in the house. Welcome. Rio, come on. No, 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 no. Come on. I hate when he uh, plants himself into the rocks, you know, and then you're trying to pull him away. Uh-oh, we've got a loose dog. All right, let's see how we're going to handle this. Actually, I think he belongs to this guy who's cycling, I hope. No. Nope. So, all right, hopefully this dog won't come up to us, but... Let's see. Yep, I see it over there. It's a German Shepherd. It's like a medium-sized dog, so he can definitely do some damage if he comes over here. Especially if he's mean. I'll get my. That's why I carry pepper spray. It's mainly not to protect myself from people. I can fend myself pretty well. It's uh, in case we get attacked by dogs. Not so much over here with my parents. Back in the valleys where I, I reside. Oh, okay, no, I just don't have my glasses on. That's not a German Shepherd. You're just a scaredy cat dog. Hopefully you belong to these people here and you just kind of snuck out. Yeah, he looks like he's an indoor dog. And he's just creeping by his owner's house. Maybe they got a little, little partied it up last night and uh, left old Fido out. But I don't think he's going to go anywhere. He seems like he's just hanging out at the house till somebody notices. <laughs> Poor dude. It's probably time for his breakfast, man. Oh, it's a gorgeous morning. I'm just kind of getting my walk in. And then we're going to... We're definitely going to have a discussion this morning, you know. And I hate to say it, you know, most of the times I like to do the walk-in talks. is kind of just, hey, let's be toxic-free. Just kind of enjoy the nature. Which, hey... It's a beautiful morning, so enjoy. But uh, today, we're, we're going to take it back old school days. We're, we are going to have a little discussion about what's going on with old Ski Mask the Shithead. And uh, boy, geez, Louise. I, I, don't, I, I, I don't know right now if these people are just that stupid or they're just playing stupid because they don't want to get banned and kicked out from the group. You know what I mean? That's just the hard part. Because... After everything that's been said and done, after all the road trips that never happened and all the gas money donations that were collected, you'd figure some of these people would kind of have got the hint, right? And that's why I said, I, 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 ha I almost can't 
can't fathom that these people are just that gullible and stupid. I, I think more it's, hey, you know, if we obviously call him out on it, he's going to start talking shit to us. He's going to dox us. He's going to extort us. You know how he works. So I think these people just play dumb on purpose. But um, even then, golly, go, go, go donate your money to a, a, a shelter. Donate your money to a, a rescue. I mean, if you got a family, go, go spend your money on your family. I'm not trying to tell anybody what to do, but I'm just so tired of seeing people get scammed. You know, it's in my heart. It's in my nature. And, you know, at some point, I'm going to have to stop talking about it because there's just so much you can do, right? I mean, if these people are part of that 1% that we've always talked about, you know, there's always the one. Actually, I think I said it's the 2%. Wait, there's always that 2%. Uh, yeah, it's starting to get to sadly to that two percent level, unfortunately. But uh, let's just let's just let's just be on the positive side this morning. There's always that one percent, okay? And unfortunately, no matter what you show them, what you tell them, even if these people know what they're doing is just absolutely stupid, moronic, senseless, they're just like that. Some of these people do that intentionally because they're thinking they're upsetting everybody else. I think those people kind of already diminished from his supporters. I think what you see now are just some people that really feel bad for him and think they, they ultimately can help change him. And see, that's the thing is, is you are one of hundreds of people that have thought the same and have gone down the same path. And see, the thing is, is you would think that those people, unfortunately, had to go through the scam and get scammed and learn but you'd figure these new people would learn from the experience from the old people and say all right that's not going to happen to me and no you got for example this new individual that's popped into his chat called scarlet sky and i'm not going to start battering this individual i'm sure all of you can already picture what this person looks like what their life's about, their situation, and who cares, okay? We all go through different points of our life. And again, I'm not trying to shame anybody. But this individual has been made aware, clearly through chat, that he's scamming. This individual has donated money for what was supposed to be gas money. Remember, this person's the one that sent his, has sent him a Western Union. That already tells you a lot about this person, okay? They obviously don't know or don't want to, you know, download these apps. They do it the old school way, Western Union. And the, this individual, literally for three days, poor lady, poor man, who knows what they are, okay, sat there for three days trying to message in the comments to Scheme Ask, check your email, Scheme Ask, check your email. And because Scheme Ask knows there ain't no money that comes through email, F you. He didn't realize that there was a number waiting for him, that all he had to do was go down to any Western Union store and hand over that transfer number, and they're going to hand him over whatever amount of money old Scarlet Sky donated. And it was three days of them pleading for him to check the email, him even yelling at Scarlet Sky at some point saying, hey, stop emailing. And then all of a sudden, oh, Thank you. All right. Stream ends. Adios. So Scarlett, if you're listening or somebody can pass this along to that individual, let me tell you something. I get what you're probably trying to do. I get it. But let me tell you something. All you're doing right now is just enabling that person to spend that money on you know what. Okay. If you don't believe me, I'm sorry to say it. It's the truth. Just look at the way he looks. Look at every day is the same thing. Begging for money, begging for money after he just had a huge amount of money the previous day donated to him, which he's obviously not spent on any gas, not spent on fixing his vehicle, not spent on getting out of his situation at the crack shack, not even spent on improving his situation at the crack shack, like getting him a little space heater if it's that cold, getting a few blankets to throw on him if it's that cold, purchasing a large uh, you know, a uh, jacket that'll keep them warm. And if it starts raining, it'll keep them dry. This guy in the last week has probably got over a thousand dollars in donations. He could have easily already fucking moved out of that crack shack. But every little bit of that money is just going straight from the cash account right over to the person that's running the crack shack. Okay. 
That dude's living the life. Are you kidding me? He don't even have to waste the time getting an Uber ride over the crack shack. It's just, hey, ATM and hand it to Mama Crack Shack, okay? Billy! Billy! All right? The guy hasn't even showered. He hasn't even gone down to a damn truck stop, spent 5 or $10 to take a damn shower, okay? Probably hasn't even figured out you can go to the dollar store and for two bucks get you some of those little wet wipes like I use at the lake. They work. I'll tell you that. They work on your sensitive parts too. I can contest to that. Good morning, Steph. Good morning, Curvaceous. Good morning, Mix Mom. Good morning, Anna Maria. Good morning. I'm sorry if I missed any. Zen, good morning. Edwards, mom, good morning. Sorry if I missed anybody else that came in. But it is a gorgeous morning here. It looks like we didn't get any of that uh, weather. Knock on any wood that's not near me. Hold on, I do. I'm, I'm very superstitious when it comes to the knock on wood. All it has to do is be wood. Knock, 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 knock. That we haven't gotten any of that bad weather that seems to have been going through a lot of uh, the Midwest states right now. I thought yesterday, because it got a little windy, that it was going to start kind of coming through here a bit. But uh, no, we had a beautiful day yesterday at the corn maze. So if you missed that stream, that was a lot of fun. Uh, and yes, I am a little sore this morning, okay? The age of 40 did come upon me, or I was reminded I turned 40 this year uh, after what was about a two-minute sprint, uh, which I am going to brag I was successful at completing the corn maze and because of a nice generous bet that was paid off, believe it or not, by Ono, I was able to secure a $100 and I mean, I called it like a winner's, you know, kind of trophy, you know, thing, but um, I guess it was more just like a participation medal. I honestly think it probably took more than two minutes and everybody in chat was just being real nice to me. So, hey. I thank you guys, all right, because you really, I, I felt, I, I walked away yesterday feeling, feeling kind of positive. I, I, I was reminded of my days of being a young buck in my early 20s, running marathons, triathlons. I, I mean, hell, I even thought I might be able to do it again. And uh, yeah, that was uh, clearly reminded that this morning that that's not going to happen. Oh, man. As a matter of fact, I never drink this early in the morning, and I don't mind even getting a nice little beer to start off the day. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even think... Yeah, oh yeah. In New Mexico, you used to not be able to purchase alcohol until 12 o'clock, but that has changed now. So technically, if I did want to get a beer, I could, but I'm not. But just, just I like to just give information, so I'm just giving it. All right. Why did we come over here? Oh, I know what we're doing. I'm sorry. I didn't even... I got so distracted. Hold on. One... I need to hike up my, my pants here, so we're going to take a little break for a second. Hey, hey, have fun, Zen. Dude, when it's camping time, there is no time, okay? It's always beer time, you know what I mean? Like, we, we, It's just that, like at the lake. When somebody asks you what time it is at the lake, you just look at him and go, dude, it's, it's like probably 2.30. It's always 2.30 at the lake, okay? Tie my shoes, hike up my pants. All right. See, Keystone time, it's beer 30. Man, now I really want to get a beer. Damn it, you guys are talking about beers. I already said I wanted a beer. This guy just walked by me with two 12 packs of Keystones of beers. <laughs> no, where we are going to is we are going to, um, so let me tell you this. So, and unfortunately, I kind of got a little distracted. Well, not really. So I had Rio's little kind of, you know, this week, anytime I walk the dogs, because it is October, we're getting close to Halloween, I like to have costumes on the dogs. Yes, I'm one of those dog owners, okay? 
And uh, I had uh, Rio decked out with his Superman cape, which is a reversible cape. I know some of you probably saw I did a picture I posted with the cape on Dobby and the cape on Rio. And it's actually, they don't each have a cape. It's a reversible cape. It's pretty cool. Um, I think I got that at Goodwill, as a matter of fact. So that was probably sewed by some really talented mom or somebody that made a reversible cape. One side is Superman, one side is Batman. So today I was feeling Superman. So I had the Superman cape on Rio. And so that Dobby's not left out, we are on our way right now to get Dobby a little costume. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, okay? I'm not going to tell you right now. I'm going to surprise you, especially for you cat people. Technically, this is a costume meant for a cat. But I was kindly reminded by one of my cat friends that, dude, Dobby is the size of a cat, and he's got the pointy ears of a cat. So it's going to fit on him just like it would on a cat. And it's pretty cool. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So that's where we're on our way to right now. Good morning. Okay, I'm going to get this right. Jean, like Jean-Claude Van Damme. And if I'm saying that wrong, just correct me. I always want to say Jean, but Jean is G-E-N-E, -E, like Jean. That, I'm thinking your name is Jean. Like, not like John, but Jean. What up, Brandy? Good morning. Pizzas today. I bought a pizza. Woo! Hell yeah. Tell me how that works. I really want to know if it's all meant to be, you know, because I'm going to tell you what. I'm pretty simple dude, okay? I, I, I can fire up one of them like $6 signature series pizzas, rising crust, and just a normal, you know, toaster oven, and I'm a pretty happy guy. So are these, you know, specialty pizza ovens all what they're meant, you know, to be? And they seem pretty popular, so I'd imagine if they are, you know? So let me know. And I mean, and does it taste even different than getting a pizza from Domino's? Now, I'll tell you what, what does really taste different is making a straight up homemade pizza. Like I'm saying, making your own homemade dough, making your own homemade sauce, you know, using that real cheese, which I'm sure all you really do. Um, but yeah, when you do that, mm, you can taste the difference. I've had some homemade pizzas and they, when, they made, when they're made with love, you can tell the difference. All right. Oh, I thought that was my speaker playing. It's this person in front of me jamming out. All right. So we need to safely cross this pretty big intersection here. So I apologize if chat, if you guys have any questions or saying hi, because I need to pay attention to the road and the doggos. But for while we're waiting for the light to change, what up, random viewer? What up, Minnesota Dave? What up, Lisa? It's there you go. There you go. It's always noon somewhere. It's always noon somewhere. It's always time to drink a beer. It's always time to get effed up. It's always time to have some fun. So come and join me at the lake. We're gonna grill a steak. It's noon time right now. Throw me a beer, yeah. I didn't know what it rhymed with that, so I just went to, yeah. Hell yeah. Freshly green pick chili, hell yeah. I'm guessing you gotta be from the Southwest then. There ain't no way you got any fresh green chili from the East Coast, I'll tell you that. Not saying, I mean, you could hydroponically probably grow it, just saying. Merv, no pants, good morning. It is a lovely Sunday morning. <laughs> I'm getting a little better, I'm not gonna lie. Now, I'm not gonna start, you know, telling myself I'm like, Hey, let's get on, uh, you know, America's most talented shit. But uh, I'll tell you what, you know, the more you sing, and this goes out to anybody, if you like to sing, just keep singing and singing and singing and singing. You get better every time. It's just like with anything. Practice makes better, right? At least I'm trying to tell myself that. I could for right now just sound horrible. And, uh, yeah. All right. We've got the light to clear. We're going to make sure everybody sees us. I'm pretty loud, dude. So if somebody was coming my way, I'm going to start screaming. All right, I think the peeps see us, we're crossing. We got 20 seconds, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, and we've crossed with about 10 seconds left. Perfect crossing. All right, this, we're, oh no, yeah, we're gonna have to do it the legal way. I wasn't gonna do it the right, wrong way. Because one, we've got the dogs and we need to be safe here. All right, so we're gonna cross here and then we're gonna almost, we're almost to our destination. All right, we've got the green. Let's make sure nobody's turning right. 
This car sees me. Good morning, ma'am. Oh, she gave me a nice little nod of the head. Little tip of the tap. Little tip of the cap, excuse me. All right. Well, tip of the cap back to you, ma'am. What up, Molly Coley? What you doing, panhandling? No, not yet. Not yet, but it could happen because I am going on a road trip soon. And if the gas funds run out, I got to do what I got to do. And certainly if I'm going to start, you know, revealing the secrets of these e-beggars and scammers, I can't start doing that, right? You guys are going to know for sure when I'm e-begging and scamming. Now that I've revealed a lot of the tips, tricks, secrets, and trades. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll, uh, let me show you. Well, actually, we'll play it here in a bit. But a lot of you probably joined in or just already saw the video. I shared it in the community post this morning. It's one of the first videos. We did like a three-part series yesterday. And a lot of that had to do with my phone, one, overheating the first time. The second time, I ran out of battery. Or I think it was vice versa. And then uh, the third time, we just had to wait because I had to wait to get a little, you know, more in the evening. And then we went to the uh, corn maze and pumpkin patch last night. But if you catch part one of that three-part series, uh, it's got a really cool introduction. And that in that introduction, I explain a lot of the scams that you see from Ski Mask himself. We actually debunked the uh, vehicle doesn't start scam, okay? Which currently, he claims his car is at some unknown location and has been sitting there the last, what, now two days since his birthday, and it's got all his stuff in it. Um, this morning he was crying about, you know, he called the tow truck driver. Remember, he doesn't have phone service, okay? He doesn't have phone service, so, you know, he's making all these calls from all these places, and, you know, he said, remember, he was also streaming, supposedly, from this unknown location, which, if you don't have phone service... Uh, how do you stream from anywhere else from the crack shack, which we obviously know the crack shack got Wi-Fi and electricity. And that's why it's not that bad. Homeboy's sitting there making it sound like he's sitting out on the street living in a cardboard box, you know, with no phone, no electricity. That dude's living in a fucking shed. He's got electricity. He can get a space heater. He's got Wi-Fi. I mean, geez, Louise, he's got a car in front of him. Don't be fooled. Like I said, I was already kind of correct, and I'm not trying to brag. I did call it, right? The night, the, the night before this last scam of the car not starting, I said, watch. He just got all these donations for this road trip. I mean, he was hyping it up. I want to go on this road trip for my birthday, yada, yada, yada. I got to get out of here. The heat's on me, you know, yada, yada, yada. Oh, go to L.A., go to Denver. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, and Scarlet Sky, I'm sorry to bring you up again, you know, kindly. That was the, that was part of that uh, email, sent them some money for that trip. And I said, watch, watch what happens. Next day, poof, all of a sudden, car doesn't turn on, right? <laughs> BS. That car, I guarantee you, is sitting right in that shitty ass driveway in front of the crack shack. And watch, watch, mark my word, I got the fortune telling ball here. Fortune telling ball says... Car's all of a sudden going to start, and he's going to have it tomorrow, and uh, now he needs money again for his road trip because he needs gas money because he had to spend all his money right now for it to get towed, and he had to fix it, and it got fixed miraculously on a Sunday night because, you know, mechanics are always open on Sunday nights on the weekends, you know, at like 9 o'clock at night and stuff. You follow me? All right. So anyways, let's go inside. Let's have a little fun. All right, Rio Dobbs, huh? Should we just try? Should I just pretend I don't see a sign that says no animals allowed? Oh, wait, service animals, welcome. Well, you guys are not service animals, so I'm not one of those people. I don't like to pretend I have service animals when I don't because uh, that, uh, that hurts the people that do, you know. Um, it, 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 you know, because if, you know, a lot of people, they don't, they start getting confused. And it really, I know people sometimes don't have service animals that come in. I get it. And, uh, you know, I understand a lot of people, you know, want to have their animals always with them. But, hey, if that's the case, just go get it qualified as a service animal or as an emotional support animal. But uh, since my animals are not licensed as any of those, uh, I'm not going to bring them in. <clears throat> so, script has been leaked. Yes. <laughs> what up, Hobby Hater? Hey, Hobby Hater. Uh, I don't know if you were in the uh, chat yesterday, but uh, I, I kind of, I thought of you yesterday. Remember you said you liked me smashing watermelons? Well, if you didn't have a chance to check out the stream from yesterday, check out part two. Part two of yesterday's series. 
we did some uh, pumpkin smashing, all right? And the pumpkin smashing has not stopped. I'd say yesterday's first attempts were kind of ah, semi-scuffed to scuffed, but uh, we are pretty much working on a goal of reaching a maximum distance of launch of at least like 50 yards with the ultimate goal of reaching a distance of 100 yards. A football field would be sweet. I tried yesterday seeing if I, you know, how far I could, you know, pretty much a t-ball stand, you know, but we're using a baseball bat, wooden. I did not use metal. Uh, wooden bat to see how far I could launch a medium-sized pumpkin, which it, it did not it did not work as good as well as I thought it would So my next idea now is going to be some sort of contraption whether it's like a catapult or maybe a slingshot style uh, Pumpkin launcher. We'll see. All right, Dubs I'm gonna tie you guys up here. Rio you take care of your broski um, let's use one of my carabiners here to make this easy. So I always bring carabiners with me. Oh, you def- Oh, hobby hater. And, and actually, if you didn't even catch any of the three series, start with part one of the three, alright? It, it was a pretty good stream. I mean, I'm sorry I had to do it in three parts, but start- If you got some time, start with part one to part three. Dobby! Jill, what are you seeing? What are you, oh, oh, nope, oh, nope. Oh. All right, I'm gonna put you guys down for a second. I kinda need both hands here. All right, come here, Dobbs. All right, Rio, I'll move you Excuse me. Did you see my five-month member milestone? Uh, I did not, Steph. Unfortunately, I don't see those on the prism if you just put that right now. But thank you so much for being a five-month member. And you probably should have the either the OG one, you know, where I got the fighting stance emoji next to you now. I'm pretty sure. And I want to say thank you so much. All right, so we are in the Halloween section. We're going to be quick here because we got the dogs outside, so I'm not going to be no doing no Halloween chopping in here. I'm just here to get what I came here to get. And I'm pretty sure I saw them over here. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe they were in the Halloween section. They could just be out. Let's see. All right, here they are. Ooh, and they just put more of them. So check it out. So these are called spooky hats, okay? You can get them here at Walgreens. All right. And they're for cats. All right. Includes a one cat hat. And look it. You can collect. They have a series of them. These are the Halloween series. So they got Frankenstein. They got the pumpkin. They got the bat. They got the ghost. They got the cat hat. And I think we figured this one out was, uh, geez. And I just, oh, the devil. It's hard to see, but there's little devil, little, little devil ears behind them. So what I'm going to get today is either going to be, I like the bat. I think the bat with Dobby's ears is going to look legit. Let's see if they got it. If not the bat, I like the cat. I like the uh, witch one. Oh, they do got it. All right, we're going to go. Let's get it. We got it. Let's go. The bat for sure. Bat hat. Here we go. Hello. Hello. Did you find I did. Thank you. I appreciate that. Are you part of the Uh I am. Let me put my number here really okay. quick. Sounds good. Would you like your seat? Um, sure. Why not? All right. you Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. Thank you. I'm going to see if this cat hat's going to work on a dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a small chihuahua with yeah. pointy ears, so we yeah. think it's going to work. So. Think, yeah, that'd look cool. <laughs> yeah, for sure. These are real cool. I saw them the other day, and I was like, oh, man. And now you got a bunch of them now, yeah. so I was all stoked. Yeah. Thank you. You have a great day. 
All right, so we got it. All right, I'm back, my little loved ones. I'm back. You're freaking everybody else out. What up, D RV Life with DJ Darren? What up, Hippie Music Girl? What up, Minnesota Dave? What up, Gladys? All right, all right. <laughs> Both you guys, I have an announcement to make. Dobby, calm down. Oh, you, you're, you're the one that's going to get really excited here. All right, you guys ready for the announcement? The announcement is, is, Dobby, you got a cat hat, and we're going to try it on right now. <laughs> He's going to hate me now. Are you going to hate me now? Are you going to hate me now? What up, SC? All right, so I'll do a little unboxing for you guys here. Let's do an unboxing, shall we? We've got today these spooky cat hats, which I've purchased today from Walgreens. This includes one spooky cat hat. Fun and adorable, securely fits head. Let's turn this around. I like the packaging, pretty cool. They've got like the silhouette of like a cat head. They got little bats, little paw, oh, 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 look it. Is that supposed to be a little cat print? Okay, I thought they are kind of saying, hey, but maybe, maybe, maybe you might want to think about a little dog. All right, so let's check this out. Let's check this out. Collect them all. So we've got six. We've got one of six. So we've got what I'm going to call the bat, the bat hat. You've got, and I'm going to, I'm going to show you because it's hard to see. That's the devil hat, all right? The devil, the cat and the devil hat. There's the little, the little, uh, little devil ears in the back. You've got the witch cat. You've got the boo cat. You've got Franken cat. You've got pumpkin cat. And you've got bat cat. And then it, it does have some uh, instructions here. It says, don't use on the following kind of cats. Interesting. Cats who hate collars. Cats who don't want to be touched. That makes sense because you probably are not going to have that cat with a cap on. Good luck. Cats with a head that are too small or too big. I have a friend named Skiwi that's got that problem, but his head is too big. Uh, cats who are ill or who are too young or too old. Intended for pet use only, not for children. Machine washable, one size fits most. Intended for pet use only. Well, what else? Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah, I see what they mean. Yeah, all right, never mind. You little sickos. Well, one, I don't think my, you know, would fit through one of these, but all right, we're not going to talk about that. I think I am one of those sickos. <laughs> all right, here we go. Dobbs, come here. We got it. We got to pretend like we got something in. Dobbs, oh, look what I got for you. Dobby. All right. All right, it's pretty dope. This is pretty cool. Let me show you. Hey, hey all right. Honestly, this would kind of look kind of cool. On I mean, okay, never mind. We're not gonna go there. Uh, I mean, with with the wings, you know, like if, imagine if you're doing one of those. Okay, all right, I'll stop. All right, come here, Dobbs. Oh, this thing just slips right on. Holy moly! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh no way! How's this work? <laughs> oh man, I think, dude. I don't want to tuck your ears in. Oh, no, no, no. I see how it works. Okay. Oh, oh, he doesn't like it. No, he does. He just doesn't want me touching his head anymore. Come here, Dobby. <laughs> oh, you guys are going to laugh when you see this. Oh, gosh. Come here, Dobby. No, 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 no. I got I to gotta fix it. I got to fix it. When it's halfway on you, it's not going to, yeah, I, of course it's going to not fit you right. Ah, I see where your ears pop out. That's why. All right, okay, I know what you're, okay. We gotta do it like this, there we go. Good dog, see? See when it's not hanging off you, it's not weird. So we take, oh my gosh, this is gonna look so cute on you. Hold on, Dubs. 
Oh, I don't know how you... Now, I'm going to... Okay, let me put this on first, and then I'm going to tell you guys something about this. Okay, good boy, Dobbs. We almost got this on you. Right. I just got to get this one last gear through. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I love you, Dobby. You know, you got to let me have some fun sometimes. Oh, you're such a good boy. All right, let me show everybody. You guys ready? I give you Bat Dobby. Da na 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 Bat Dobby. Or wait, no, he's like a Dracula. How does a <laughs> I'm Dobula. There you go. I'm he's Dobula. Not Dracula. I'm Dobula. Now, I'm gonna, here's what I want to say. So, it's cute, it's cool, I like it, but I cannot see myself trying to put one of these on a cat because your cat, if your cat is like super cool and lets you pet the shit out of its head, then this will work. But unless your cat, like, let me just put it this way. You've got to put their ears through this little, these little slits. And I just think a cat would not like to have its ears touched and its head messed with. Are you embarrassed, Dobby? <laughs> yeah, exactly, sunshinery. I, I mean, like I said, you, you got, I'm just gonna put it this way. This is only gonna work if you've got a cat that is super just relaxed. I mean, it, it'll let you rub its head, you know what I mean? But he won't look at me, Dobbs, Dobbs. No, he sees something. He's he's waving his tail. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? Ah, oh, there you go. There's my Dobbs. There's my Dobbs. He loves me. But yeah, that's uh, I, I see that being really difficult to put on most cats. But hey, if you can get it on, good luck. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Now we're gonna give it the walking test. So let's see how long Dobbs will Dobbs can keep this on his head. And then we can continue our conversation. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try something out here. Um, actually, while I'm getting the dogs all situated, let's try it out now. Uh, I think I've learned how to share a, a movie on here. What up, Sean Leader? Yeah, barking PETA. PETA, P-E-T-A, or are you just a, being a little jerk? I'm going to just give you it that you misspelled pet and added an A. I'm, on, I'm not in the mood for little jerks today. Tomorrow you can be a jerk. You can hang out. But today I'm chilling. I'm having fun with my dogs. All right, you seem kind of cool. All right, you can hang out. <laughs> what up, Roston Railroads? Oh, must suck to have your hero, Brian. Well, he's not mine, buddy. Not at all. And actually, adios, you little weirdo. Oh, I can take jokes, but certain days, you know, I don't take certain jokes. You know what I mean? So I think I got your joke, so I'm going to take it. But I think you can understand, because I bet you have pretty days, you have days that you don't like jokes either, right? Or are you just like a, a, such a happy dude like me? I'm pretty happy all the time, but, you know, sometimes I don't like jokes, especially when some of my little babies here. I got a good joke for you. You guys want a good joke? Let me show you. See, now I'm gonna apologize. I thought he was referring to something else, okay? Cause uh, I don't, I don't remember. I don't, I don't, I don't deal with PETA. Now that I know what PETA is, I got you. Pop, pop, boom, got it. So my my apology to um, to uh, Sean Leader. <laughs> I got it now. 
All right, here we go. I mean, let me share this video with you, you guys. Want to see a real joke? I'll, I'll show you a real joke. You guys want a joke? You guys want to laugh this morning? See, I'll, I'll show you. I got a better one. I'm going to one up you here, Sean Leader. I'm going to one up you here, okay? Let me show you. Yo Billy. Yo 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 Billy. Yo yo. Cut cut this cut some of this up for me, please, Billy. Yo David. Yo David. 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 Billy. 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 <laughs> Yo, man, Billy, this is some good shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. These dumbasses. These dumbasses. They give me this they money. Me this I tell them all the time. I need it for gas. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, Billy, you never, you never figure out, man. These dumbasses, dumb asses, they don't even know I'm just, I'm just using that money and just, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. No, they're all suckers, no, they're all suckers bro. bro. They think every they day, think I'm, every gonna day I'm gonna go on this stupid trip. road trip and <laughs> I get like 200 bucks, dude, from these two whales, man. Shit. Bro. Bro. That's how we've been able to party, man. Oh, shit. 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 Oh, 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 oh hey, shit. Hey, Chad. Hey, hey, I'm Chad. sorry. I'm sorry. Bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Uh, My bad. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I was just yeah, watching, was just a, watching uh, a, a video, a, a, video, a, a movie, a Netflix movie. movie. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, that wasn't me. No, no, that wasn't me. What you guys heard, that that was a Netflix movie I was watching. I would never call you guys whales. I would never call you guys whales. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. That wasn't me. I'm watching I'm watching a Netflix movie. You just can't see it right now. I'd show you, but the TV just broke. I swear. I swear. Just right now, the TV just broke. So I can't show you what I was watching. But that wasn't me talking. I didn't know I had the stream on. My bad. Having a shitty, Having a beer, shitty birthday. beer birthday. All I got. All was I this. got was this. Billy. Billy. Billy and the family Billy and the family at the craft shack, shack were nice enough. Nice the, the only people. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. All right. All right. Only people only that got people me that a cake this cake morning was Billy from was the Billy craft shack. Okay. okay. Happy birthday to Happy myself. Happy birthday to myself. Let me know if you guys can hear it still. I shut the speaker. I'm sorry. I didn't know it was echoing. And 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 this is my last. This joint, is my last okay? joint. Okay. Can you, you hear really it? Want me to celebrate really my birthday? With my you can't hear it anymore. As it is, as it is. Look what I'm having for, look my, what birthday I'm having for my birthday cake. A fucking hostess. A fucking hostess cookie or cupcake or cupcake. Okay, you guys can hear it good. This is all I have this left. This is all I have left. Because of you guys. Because of fault. you guys, your fault. This is when it gets good. How about a cash app? How about a cash app? And yeah, we're speaking of a in. cash app, come on, how about a cash shit. app? Seriously, it's we're actually seriously, 44 it's minutes, minutes in. in and I four can't minutes even get, in a in and I can't get one cash app. I don't even think I should I don't even think I should waste my last joint on you guys.
You're not going in there. You guys want to go in this time. Seriously, this is gonna Seriously, be my last this is gonna joint. Seriously, it's going to be my last joint. And then I'm going to quit streaming. And then I'm going to quit streaming. I promise as soon as I, I, promise as soon as joint, I finish this I'm joint, gonna I'm never going to stream anymore unless I get a dollar today. I've been sitting in this shed I've been shed sitting all in week, this shed sweating. all week sweating. All right, you guys think All right, you guys funny, think huh? this is funny? Huh? 27 people 27 in chat, people in nobody chat. speaking, nobody nope, speaking. Not nope, not a dollar, 27 of y'all just watching me live in this you shed, this you guys funny? think this is funny, huh, huh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, what's happening, what's going on, What's going on? Yeah, there's rats everywhere. It's hot. You think you think it's nice and cool in that shed? I've been sweating all day. Hold on. That's also how I make my tears too for the crying scams, but Look at all this sweat I got going on. It's been miserable in here and it's your guys' fault. You think this is funny? Do I need more do I need more water effects? Hold on. Okay. It's almost a hundred degrees in there. It's fucked up. It's messed up guys. 37 and not one cash app, almost 10 minutes in and you guys can't even send me one cash app for my birthday. I already had to run over here because you don't even know what happened this morning. You don't even know what happened to me this morning. I had to spend $30 to get an Uber ride to go back to my car because I left my joint. Okay, thirty dollars to go get my joint, and then when I got there, the police were waiting by my car. Okay, and so I had to tell that Lyft driver to boogie it out of there, and we peeled out of there, and the police started chasing us. Okay, and then I got the Lyft driver, and I threw him out of the car, and I jumped in the passenger seat, and I started taking off everywhere, and they're following me. There's helicopters going around. It's not even funny, you guys. And I barely made it in here, man. And they're looking for me on my birthday. Yeah, helicopters, Brandy. You guys think I'm lying? Look it, I'll show you where I'm living. This is fucked up. You guys wanna live like this? I've hit rock bottom, man. This is it. Four walls, four walls, electricity. I got Wi-Fi. This is rock bottom, you guys. This sucks. Fuck you, NJ Quarantine. This is Kansas City Police Department. Hands up. I'm back.
How was that? Did you guys learn some of the scams? Now, in that one, I just went over like a few scams. If you actually watch the rest of that video, which you can find in part two of the um, three-part series that we did yesterday, um, you will see I debunk the vehicle doesn't start scam and the it's windy and it's cold and the weather's bad scam. And I apologize about the echo. That's the first time I've ever played media like that on uh, the prison app. And uh, now I know how not to do it without the echo. So um, next time we do something like that, we won't have that problem with the echo. Because like I said, I've never done that before. And uh, I figured out the only way to stop the echo period is, is you just got to turn your volume down all the way. Which I was afraid if I turned my volume all the way down, then you wouldn't hear the media. But what's kind of cool is, is when you are playing media... It's got a little, uh, it's got a little, um, uh, I, I don't know what you'd call it, um, a sound bar where you can see it, you know, going up and down and it's showing that, you know, obviously there's some sound that's being played. So, um, yeah, now we've, I figured out how not to have the echo going through whenever I play media like that again. But on the positive note is this is cool because I've always thought that's kind of the well, you know, I use StreamYard a lot because obviously I can have the panels. I can invite people to join the StreamYard link. But a lot of time when I don't do panels, the only reason I use StreamYard is, is I have the ability to share media with you guys. Now that I know I can do it on the Prism app and especially on the mobile Prism app, dude, I can do mobile like everything I do when I'm sitting at the studio. I can just do when I'm doing a walk and talk. So this is pretty cool. I like this. Is there any establishment that would actually hire ski? I think there would. What up, back, bad back 007? Welcome, you member of the jury. Thank you for your support. And I do got the media turned on. Uh, I didn't have the. Uh, I didn't have it turned on earlier. So just in case you do want to say hi through the speaker, you're more than welcome to. And I don't do media, I just do the text-to-speech is what I meant. I apologize. Now, I, I, earlier I played some media, but uh, as far as if you want to donate, you can do a text-to-speech. I don't, I, the, uh, with being uh, monetized and as well as just some of those media uh, donations being really long, I just, I just prefer not to go that route with the media donations. Now, they are funny, I will admit, but uh, text-to-speech works just fine. You can say whatever you'd like through the speaker. And it's jacked up. It's loud. Um, so, Mary, there is rumors that he worked a few jobs, probably like no more than a month or two at some little entry-level jobs back when he was maybe in a high school or college. And when I mean college, he did go. I mean, he did put four to five years, and it's, it's, it was for an associate's degree. We verified that. So, for some of you that never caught that episode, you can go online yourself. And um, I don't know the, the name of his university on the top of my head, but all you do is just type in that name of that university and his, and his legal name, and it pops right up. It's one of the top searches on the Google search. It pops right up, and it's literally a newsletter. It's an online newsletter from the university congratulating all the students that graduated that year, and his name's there. And what did he graduate with? It was an associate's degree in general studies he has nothing to do with communications he doesn't have a bachelor's degree and again i give the guy hey i mean congrats he furthered his education he's got an associate he's got it in general studies and uh then he just turned to what he turned into you know i guess right after that is when he you know sent them or jumped on the bus you know his story uh, got on the bus with the uh, two dollars in my pocket and i arrived in hollywood california you know you've heard it so just some guy wow you are obsessed hey you can have your opinion remember i i don't welcome to this channel we don't ban for that just follow tos and you're cool But, uh, yeah, as far as, like, since he was 18, I doubt he's had a job. I can't verify or confirm, nor do I care. But, uh, yeah, there's certainly places that would hire him. He can find work under the table. You know how many places are right now working for contractors, uh, you know, 
I mean, just go go to a job site where they're building a fucking house. And I guarantee you, if you just tell the guy you show up and the fact that David, and it's not a lie, he doesn't drink. Now, right now, he's on some other shit. If he can work and keep on the shit, you know, I guess he can still function. But unfortunately, all that means is anytime he gets a paycheck, it's just going to go straight out, you know, in a smoke. Just like right now, what he's doing with all his donations. So ultimately... Let me give the guy a piece of advice. And this is all I'm ever going to address the guy with this. I promise. This is it. My advice to that guy. And this is it. I'm talking as a, I'm not a lawyer, but if I ever was one, this is what I would tell him. If he ever hired me as a lawyer, if I ever did go to go to school and become one, I'd say, David, as your lawyer. And again, remember, I'm not a lawyer. As your lawyer, David, we're just pretending we're doing a little parody. As your lawyer, David, here's what I'm going to suggest you do. Obviously, you don't care about your warrants in Nevada and New Jersey. Get it. You say you're never going to go back there. Well, you know, it's it's still, if it was me, I would take care of them. But you just want to, you know, live live a little bit without being harassed. I got you. Here's what I do. If you're going to plan on, you know, living at mommy and daddy's for the rest of your life and you plan on residing in the state of Oklahoma, then I would get your shit settled in the state of Oklahoma. And you know what the reality is, ladies and gentlemen? This guy has got multiple bench warrants for misdemeanor infractions. And remember, one of these bench warrants was issued because he didn't do his basic probation. The guy could have gone to jail for 90 days. And honestly, the way he's living right now, he probably should have done that because he would have already been out and got that over with. But instead... They gave him probation because they felt bad for the guy. And he didn't even do that. So that's his fault, okay? But think about it. The dude just got a bench warrant issued for him now because he didn't show up to basic probation and start a payment plan of $25 a month. Think about that, okay? Think about the shit that he's now in over something simple like that, okay? Now... Let's talk about this new bench warrant that came out, okay? Bench warrant number two out of Tulsa. Technically, he's got three of them because he's got one out of Wagner County, okay? This new bench warrant was issued simply because he didn't make one single payment on his payment plan. You know that? He didn't make one $25 payment, all right? I guarantee you he could have probably been late on payments and they probably wouldn't have cared. All they wanted to see was that he made a payment. And you know what? Here's the other thing. Even though he didn't make a payment, he might have even had a chance to just scam his way out of that situation had he gone to court, which he didn't show up to. Because he was scared that they were going to arrest him for his other bench warrant. All right? Which is his fault again. See how this is all stacking up? And it's all of really just simple, stupid shit. That honestly, I could tell you a criminal felon and a criminal career criminal like him they don't even do stupid shit like that like real felons like hardcore dudes if they know that they can have the cops off their asses and it means just them going to jail for a week or a couple of months dude they're gonna go turn themselves in because they don't want the popos on their ass while they're doing other illegal shit right <laughs> this dude is literally burying himself every day deeper and deeper just because he fails to just show up to simple court misdemeanor, you know, hearings, okay? So as his lawyer, I would tell him, dude, the best thing you can do is just go turn yourself in. Hell, you might not even serve the 90 days at this point, sadly, which again, I'm speaking as his lawyer, not me, all right? Because I'm going to tell you this. If this guy really wants to change his life to better himself for his family... He needs to get rehab. He's got to go through programs. And if he's not going to do it himself because he doesn't have the will to do it or, you know, he's on the you know what, then he's got to get himself cleaned. OK, he needs the help of other people. It needs to pretty much be forced upon him. OK, so why not get all your legal shit out of the way by going turning yourself in and at the same time utilizing the resources of the jail or the prison to get clean, to go through your programs and that way, when you get out, for the most part, you're pretty much done with all the bullshit. Just, you know, don't get in trouble because you're going to be on probation or parole. And that's it. 
Now, remember, he still has a bunch of shit in those other states. And, you know, rightfully, he needs to serve his justice for that. But speaking as a lawyer, you know how lawyers are. Again, if he's just wanting to just hang out for the rest of his life in the place he shits at, which is the state of Oklahoma, like they say, don't shit in your backyard. Don't shit in your own backyard. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. It's the same thing. So if he's going to be leeching off a mommy and daddy for the rest of his life, he needs to take care of his warrants and he needs to better himself. That way his family loves him. That way they're not afraid of him. That way they don't mind him, you know, living with them and, and visiting his other family members and possibly having a chance at being a fucking father. That's it. I'm done. That's all I have to give this guy at this point. Because at this point, he's just fell into that category of the 1%, right? It don't matter how much you tell him. I mean, look at all these people that's... that, that and, I, this is, and these are the people that I want to address too. And then I'm done with that. All these people that claim that they're helping him, right? And they think they're helping him by sending him money. All you're doing right now, because he's an addict, is you're just buying his shit every day. So if, if you're fine with that, if you're, if, if you're fine with that, do you. But if you're really one of these people that, oh, I really want to help him and I want him to better his life, I think you know exactly what needs to happen. And you sending him money every day, and especially knowing now that he doesn't use that money for anything else, he says. I mean, like I said, come on, let's not play stupid now, all right? If you're just doing it so that you don't get kicked out of the chat because you don't have anything else to do all day and that's the only place to talk, hey, I get it. But remember what you're doing. You're ruining somebody's family right now. And essentially, if you care about the guy, you're just hurting him by just enabling him every day to get fucked up and then do it over and over and over and over again. And here's what's going to happen, okay? I'm not a fortune teller, but I can tell you just based on, on looking at the record of, of David and how he works, this guy eventually is going to get caught, all right? He's going to be driving around. He doesn't have a license plate. He doesn't have registration. He doesn't have insurance. He's going to get pulled over for a traffic infraction. Um, maybe the people at the crack shack are going to get in and argue with them and call the police. Who knows? You catch my drift? But either way, this guy's going to find himself in trouble. So all that money that y'all wasted on thinking you're helping him, all you did was just buy his drugs for the next couple of weeks until he gets popped and put in jail. All that money that everybody donated to help him get in a lawyer, help him fix his car, that was already wasted. Done. Gone. All right? You saw that. You can't deny that. Okay? So it's going to happen again and again and again. It's the never-ending story with that guy, right? Just like the never-ending blunt, the never-ending story with the scams and with the same bullshit. And think about it. For those of you that ever dealt with addicts that know the behavior of an addict, you can totally 100% see it exactly in what David's doing, okay? So and I'm just going to leave it at that. That's it. Like I said, at this point, there is nothing else you can... I mean, we've already shown through the guy's records. I've brought you him face-to-face -face when we went to the court for the court coverage. You, you see exactly what he is, okay? And if he's not willing to change himself, you think anybody else is? You don't think his poor parents have already tried to work with him, have tried to plead with him to get help? Absolutely they have, okay? You, don't, you, you think his parents really wanted to pull that restraining order and do what they did? No. OK, I don't care how fucked up he's made their life. OK, people, you know, I get it. Your parents are always going to love you. OK, that's your blood and flesh. They made you. OK, but they certainly are not going to put themselves through that hell. They're not going to risk themselves. His poor mom is sick. OK, you, she can't go to jail. The fuck's she going to do in jail? She's got to be on an oxygen tank. All right. What are they going to do? Rest the mom and dad so nobody's at home? You know, who's going to pay the, you know, it doesn't make any sense, right? And that's why these people don't get themselves in any trouble, all right? But when they've got David living at home, yes, they are victims of getting, getting in trouble or they're going to put, they're going to be targets of it because anytime they come in, kicking the door in for a warrant, just like they said last time, they can bring them in for obstruction, okay? They can get hurt. Think about this, David. Think about what type of an asshole you are, okay? You might not care about yourself like you claim, like what happens to me? Oh, I want the cops to come in and let them do that to me. Well, get this shit. That might be you, but not your parents. And think about the risk you're putting your parents at when you've got a literally 
you know, four dudes, you know, guns blazing because they're serving a be they're serving warrants. OK, they got to be like that and rightfully should. All right. Shit can happen. OK. And, and it's happened before where innocent people by accident have been had been part of, you know, unfortunately, you know, uh, have turned from just a person that was living, doing nothing as a victim of a crime. And it, and it wasn't the police fault and it wasn't that person's fault. The only fault it comes down to is the scumbag that had to require the police to come to that house that day, which is you, David. So think about that. So you know what? You being out of the house, hey, that's that's a one step. I get it. At least you're not there. And I'm thankful of it. At least your parents can have some fucking peace for once. But like I said, as a lawyer, if you, you what is this guy going to do? Keep doing this till he's 80 years old, running and scamming, begging and running and scamming. Come on now. And if you want to get this shit done, it's the sooner the better, bro. Because the sooner the better, the more time you got to try to improve your life. And at least, like I said, maybe have a chance at turning some things around. Remember, you just turned 39, man. You haven't even broke what they call half your life, 40 yet. So that's it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to address this guy anymore. We're still going to obviously cover his, his court coverages because we already started and rightfully so. We're going to end it. But as far as, you know, having the deal with him, exposing the scams, uh, I, I'm going to let the clip channels that are doing a great job of doing that right now do that. And, and you guys keep supporting those channels because they do a lot of work, man. It's not easy sitting there all day listening to that guy yap and, and say the things he does. You know, a lot of people can't do it. And that's why those clip channels will do that. And that way, you know, you hear the important things. You get exposed to the, to the toxicity. So kudos to you all. But, uh, you know, I'm going to give you some advice. Because remember, right, that's how I started this channel. Make sure you, you take some time for yourself. Because uh, if you get too far into it, it's going to start affecting you mentally, man. And you don't want to start turning into a negative person, especially from somebody else. It, it, it does. really does. I've talked to people, viewers. Ex-viewers, current viewers of, of Ski Mask that they tell me. They, they, they literally, their attitude changes, whether it's for the good or bad or worst, because... Here, Rio. Okay, it's gone. We got it. We got it. Sticker is removed. Because of, you know, just that toxicity rubbing off on them from him. So... <sighs> So that's it. Like I said, you know, I'll still be providing court coverage, but as far as, you know, exposing the dude's scams, we've already, I mean, what am I going to do? I'm going to be sitting here till I'm blue in the face, you know? So I think after, you know, I mean, and you don't even have to have it exposed. Uh, I'm pretty sure for the most part, all you figured it out after the uh, fourth time of him not going on this road trip. <laughs> uh Dude, where I'm at, I don't even know where I'm at, Minnesota, Dave. I kind of just got myself a little... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm just trying to get on the trail here. I crossed the free... or uh, What is kind of a freeway. Highway 70. But I'm at what appears to be a bank. What is this? Banks aren't open on Sundays, are they? It is Sunday. There's a bunch of cars here. Here. Let's go through the drive-thru. There's a, there's a table here. We'll have a seat. So I need to kind of get my bearings here for a second. I got to hike up my... Pan oh, this is an ambulance! We're at a hospital. Oh, okay. All right, I know where I'm at. <sighs> oh, Sunshinery, thank you. That is, thank you for putting that warning out. Yes, thank you for putting that warning out. I totally forgot about that. Come here, Rio. Yes, sir. Can't hang out this area this is where I oh, okay. I'm sorry. I moved. I was just going to hike up my pants really quick and get out of your way. My bad. It makes total sense. Come on, guys. Let's go. Don't want to block the ambulance way there. But I did have a second to hike up my pants, so we're good. I thought it was the dogs that got activated, the doors, the hospital doors open. I was like, oops. It was the security. Now 
and I'm not an auditor and it is private property, so you're not going to see me going, well, technically it's, uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yes, they are cracking down. Very much so. Very much so. And it's a good thing they are. I'm finally. I mean, here's the one thing, though, that I have to say is with all this cracking down, how the heck is he still able to continue to be on YouTube? I mean, you guys realize how many of his channels have been striked, have been actually terminated, and then, you know, he counters that and he'll get it back. He's lost some channels, you know? It's nuts. Now, also, I, I'm not stupid. I know, you know, he does have some viewers that I'm probably letting him use their, you know, information to start accounts, or he's having people make accounts for him, yada, yada, yada. It's not that hard to figure out a way, you know, to bypass that. But it requires you trusting other people and them trusting you, which I think it's insane that anybody's going to trust Ski Mask with any of that information. And remember, to whomever's still out there that opened up that PayPal account or AdSense account, excuse me, that Google AdSense account for them, it's almost that time of the year. You're going to have a little tax statement coming in because uh, he did, even though they shut down his uh, monetization in a month, which he knew himself, and I feel bad. I mean, I do and I don't for the people that did waste their money because I warned them. I said it in a video. I said, he, you know, he's going to be demonetized, and that money does not get returned to you guys, okay? And the sad thing is the ski mask knew that himself. He just wanted to look all big and bad that he got monetized, and even himself, when he realized that people were happy to see that and were donating through that, and he knew he wasn't going to get that money, that's when he even said, oh, no, 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 stop, no, no, don't send the donations through there anymore. Uh, I just want cash apps. And that's fucked up that he did that, that knowingly he, he, he had people donate a lot of money knowing that he was not even going to see that money. And here's the other fucked up thing, is somebody's going to be getting a tax statement for that money regardless that you didn't see it or not, probably. Probably, we don't know. Now, although they didn't pay it out, there could be mistakes get made, so. But, uh, yeah, either way, I think YouTube's now cracking down with the IP addresses, so. All those people with 30 alts are probably going to start seeing a lot of them accounts start deleting. And that's what I'm saying, man. Like I said, I, I'm not asking for those people to come and join my channel. Come and support me. Don't support Ski Mask. Spend your money on me. Fuck no. Do what you want with your money. I just want those people to know that, you know, it sucks, man. I hate people seeing people get scammed, okay? I got a big heart. I don't care how nasty those people are to me. I still want them to be at least aware of it. And like I said, I know they are now. And at this point, if they just want to continue to be suckers, hey, that's on them. But the one thing I did want to pass on to them is, is you might not care to be a sucker, but if you really are sitting there and saying you want to help the guy, don't be a hypocrite because you know damn well where that money's going, okay? And if, if, you're, if you're seriously knowing where that money's going and you keep feeding him, that's, that's fucked up. Because you're hurting him and you're hurting his family. You know that, right? You think his parents want to see him in that condition? That's why they have him out of the house. That's why they didn't give him money. That's why they don't support that shit. Okay? Those, la those people like Scarlet Sky, you all are supporting that. Like I said, I ain't telling you what to do with your money, but man, you know, if you're just gonna, if it's gonna just go up and smoke, you might as well spend it on yourself. Spend it on your family. Like I said, ultimately, if you don't want to spend it on yourself or family, man, there's plenty of rescues. There's plenty of great nonprofits that you can go and They'll be more than happy to take your money for him from you and, and put it towards something helpful that's going to help people. So that's it. Like I said, you know, you'll still see court updates. You'll still see breaking news updates if it has to do with the ski mask Andy hearing. But, you know, me personally clipping the guy, pointing out scams. You know, pointing out what he did wrong, pointing out that, nah, like I said, I, it's, I'm pretty sure, just watching some of the chats recently, I know everybody's aware now. 
like I said, the last people just still hanging in there are either one, just totally effed in the head and disgusting and just toxic like he is. And yes, there is that 1% like that. You know, there are going to be people worse than him. And that's what you see. Um, but then I also know there are some people probably still in there that do think that they're trying to help them and think they're doing a good thing. And they're really not. At the end of the day, they're not. And that's all I want him to do, be aware of. And uh, I think they're pretty, I'm pretty sure they are. So like I said, do what you want to do. That's your right. That's the great thing about the, the good old United States of America. Freedom! 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 Oh, freedom! I got to work on my, my loud rock and roll voice. But it's getting there. I'm getting there where I don't crack it. We got all the dogs howling this morning. There you go. Freedom for the dogs. Bark it. Get it out of your systems. Wake up your owners this morning. It's Sunday. It's time to get fed. What up, Sicilian? What up, Carol? Sorry if some people came in. What up, Macias Padilla? It's been a while since I've done a little shout out. Let's see. Let's go up the line here. See if I see any new names. I can't remember if I shouted out yet. I think I've got for the most part. And I apologize if I missed you. But if I did, I want to say hello. Good morning. And I hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. Hey, Dobbs, you know, Dobbs, it's still on there. Now, is it still on his head? Absolutely not. So I'm going to rate the cat hat a mm, three out of five. And I'm only giving it a three out of five for cuteness. It's definitely just one of those, you know, you put on your pet and take a quick picture and it's over with. Uh, if you think you're going to be prancing around in a, a pet parade, you know, Halloween costume contest. Mm, unless your dog or cat is just super, super just laxed. It's most likely going to look like that on them after some walking. Now, I know there's probably some ways you maybe can customize it where it might stay a little bit better. But just right out the box, I give it a 3 out of 5. And uh, really, I'm just giving it a 3 because of the cuteness factor. Otherwise, I think it's pretty hard to put on an animal, especially a cat. So I think that would almost make it uh, something that just keeps it from being a 4 or 5 out of 5, period. All right. Badback 007, good morning. Someone needs to send his ass a Western Union, then drop a dime to the Popo and give him the look. Hey, there you go. See, so probably, oh man, now he knows. Well, hey, at least now he's not going to accept Western Unions. <laughs> oh man. Great idea, though. What up, squishy socks? Good morning. All right, we're going to do just one little lap around just so I can say hi and bye to everybody. And then uh, we are going to conclude our walk and talk. Um, and I've had a great, great time with you guys in chat this morning. I think we had a good discussion regarding the subject of the walk and talk. You know, like I said, I usually try to keep these pretty toxic free, you know, just kind of a way for people to enjoy their their, you know, morning and then get a nice view of wherever we're going, you know. I know a lot of you love the doggos, so it's a way to them to say hi to everybody. And, uh, but, you know, sometimes we do have stuff to talk about, and today was one of those days. And maybe that's why I may not have had as, as much of a, of a comic, uh, or a, so, so, such a much of a sense of humor earlier, but it was still early. So again, I apologize to uh, whom that was. I think that was Sean Leader. I didn't get the joke. Now I do. But uh, I'm, uh, like I said, it's it's uh, usually these are, like I said, just more to just kind of relax and detoxify. But uh, like I said, we do have our walking talks where you know we'll get into it a bit. I definitely think we had a good discussion today. And we got to mess around with uh, using the media, so that's good to know. Now I know I can play uh, videos and stuff. Um, I think I can even share, uh, what else, music. I can put a playlist um, so I can play music and stuff. 
so yeah i'm just kind of you know like i said exploring the app a little bit more and as i did i i've uh, uncovered some features that i definitely can use now and i learned that if i'm going to play media and for any of you other streamers out there uh, if you didn't know, uh, if you're going to play media, make sure you put your volume on your device completely down or else you will get an echo. Even if you can't hear it, there will be an echo. Oh, yeah, I know. This is our scene. We go on this route every morning and every evening and in between. So uh, they've definitely got some friends on this route. Oh, yeah, no sun signery. That's why I don't play media or, you know, I mean, if it's um, I'm going to start. I want to start learning more about the YouTube music and licensing because uh, they do offer. I mean, you know, they, it's it's YouTube. You know, they got to work with people a bit. You know, that's how if people can't play media, then it's just, you know, you're starting the the, the chain effect. The domino effect's going to slow down. You know, you want people to keep playing that me scene that on the studio, the creator studio app that there's this new tab where it's a music tab and it's pretty much I think what I've learned a little bit about it is where you can pretty much if you're a monetized channel for example I think this is how it works I'll give you an example so say I want to play um, song A by you know Billy Billy I'm just making something up okay so song A by Billy Billy the band's Billy Billy and the name of the song is song A okay and I want to have song A by Billy Billy as the song playing while my intro's coming in in my, my YouTube video. So what, what I'm understanding is, is if that song is available through this YouTube music app, I can select it. So it's going to allow me to use it. But in return, I'm then there sharing my monetization with it, my ad revenue. So they're pretty much selling you know music for in return for ad revenue which hey i get it i'm cool with that especially with a channel like this i this i'm talking you're talking in like the pennies to dollars sometimes in ad revenue for a month okay um you're now the channels that really pull ad revenue are you know your channels that got like 1 million plus subscribers each video gets 100k plus views million views every time they put out a video so uh, that's when you're talking a lot of money you might be sharing. But for a channel like this, if I'm just paying a few pennies to, to play or share my little pennies to play some music, I'm kind of cool with that. But I don't think it's that easy. That really doesn't make sense. You know, like, uh, they would sell you music so cheap just because, you know, you're, yeah, you're not a big channel. But who knows, you know. But anyways, I know it kind of works like that. Um, but it, there is kind of a catalog of music you can pick from is where I'm going with. And, uh, you know, I'm, I like music. I, I enjoy music and I wish I could play a lot more music. And it was fun. When we were at the lake, we tried the media through the media share, uh, through donation alerts. And that was a lot of fun. We had people sharing cool videos, cool music videos. But unfortunately, YouTube shut us down. They didn't like that. And uh, we didn't get in any trouble. But, you know, what they do is they just pretty much, they go through the video. Uh, it's, it's, it looks like they put up like a little nasty message, you know, it freaks people out, you know. They're like, oh no, you know, did he get a strike? But what happens is YouTube's just going and they're deleting that music portion of whatever got you copyright in trouble. And then as soon as they delete that, then they let your, your stream, your live stream comes right back on, okay. And most of you have seen that before, right? Where it's like that screen and all of a sudden, you know, like maybe three minutes later or two minutes or a minute or maybe longer, boop, the live stream continues. That's what's going on. So, uh, yeah, it was fun, man. I, I would, I wish I could share media, wish I could play a lot of mute more music, but, uh, unfortunately when you're monetized, you got to be a lot more careful about it. And like I said, it does look like there is a way to do it. I've just got to figure out how to do it. Hey, hey, we'll see you later, everybody. Mix Mom, I think Mary T was leaving. Uh, everybody have a great Sunday. Uh, I'm about to wrap it up now, so let me... In fact, let's wrap it up now. Okay, I want to say thank you, everybody. I had a terrific walk and talk with you guys. Had a lot of fun. We discussed some important stuff. Um, pretty much, I think the next time I'll see you is either going to be, unless we have some breaking news... Or it's going to be once I get up to the Balloon Fiesta. It's going to be the start of our IRL road trip, our Halloween IRL road trip adventure. Which, again, we are going to finish up heading into Halloween weekend at 
one of the scariest, probably not one, the scariest place in the whole United States where I've got exclusive access to something. It's, it's trust me, it's going to be one hell of an IRL one, probably one to be put in the books. Now, I'm not even trying to brag, okay? I'm just telling you, okay? And it's going to be a lot of fun. Either way, next week's going to be a lot of fun at the Balloon Fiesta. We talked about going to the McCall's Pumpkin Patch, which has a haunted house. They've got kind of more of like an adult theme night. So, you know, we can go there and have a little booze. You know, we won't be drinking and driving. We'll get a lift out there. See if I have friends up in Albuquerque, too, that probably want to go up there that, you know, don't drink. And, uh, yeah, they got concert going. They've got a haunted house. And we got the Balloon Fiesta. We're going to go check it out in the morning. We're going to check it out in the evening. Let me get out of the way of this motorcycle so we don't get ran over in the background. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, And in between, we'll still have court updates because there's a lot of court stuff going down this October. Okay. As a matter of fact, I got to confirm something that I heard over the weekend uh, tomorrow. And so there might be an update. It's probably not going to be important enough where I would have to go live. Maybe I will. But uh, for sure, I'm going to post it through a community post. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, check that out. Um, but like I said, other than seeing me on a breaking news alert or something like that, next time I shall see you all will be at the balloon fiesta. So love you guys. Take care. Enjoy your Sunday. I appreciate all your support. And as always, NJ courts and for today is officially. Oh!